Biggest win in Vanderbilt football history and probably the worst loss <laughs> at the same time. I would say so. For, for like how good, like I'm sure Bama's lost the worst teams, but they weren't supposed to be as good as they were here. They weren't ranked one. Right. Yeah. Number one. And this you know what? Humiliating. Like, like last week, you know, I was all like, oh, you know, maybe DeBoer can't handle at Bama. And then they beat Georgia. And I was like, okay, maybe he can. Well, actually, maybe he can't. You know, maybe DeBoer can. But there's... If this is coached by Nick Saban, they're not losing this game. Why do you think so, though? Because I think a big part of this happening mm -hmm. is you have to factor in, like, we just beat Georgia. We're, we're hot shit. Yeah. And this is Vanderbilt. We're just going to fuck around, yep. and we're just going to walk out with a win. Probably got, like, probably stayed out late last the night before. They were feeling themselves all week. They were partying all week. They just took down. What, was Georgia ranked one? Yeah, two, so. ranked two team on national television in like spectacular fashion, dude. They just had a wild week, and I just think under Nick Saban, people are too scared to do that shit. Yeah, one hundred percent. Rightfully so. I was thinking the same thing. It's basically where it's like, you know, you, there's all of these clips that you see of Nick Saban getting pissed off about the smallest mistake when Alabama's up thirty yeah, yeah, yeah. against like fucking. They're up like forty two to zero, and he's like against Joe Blow University, and he's yeah. throwing a huge fit. And it's why it's because his goal when he coaches the teams it's not like win the game yes it's yeah. win the game but it's like yeah. give your full effort yes every single time yes. no matter what's and, going and, on and he no leads what by, the context he's, is leading by example whether we're up big whether we're down it's like big, hey man like, it we're up 42 matter. zero yeah. i'm still working my ass off yeah so why the fuck aren't you so then it would be the same thing with vanderbilt right they would expect them to prepare exactly yeah. the same as if it was a georgia or an Ole miss or yeah. whoever lsu whatever so yeah, dude, I, I kind of feel the same way. I feel like they, they probably walked in here thinking they're going to roll over Vanderbilt, that they're unbeatable. Yeah. And the coaching staff probably got to their head a little bit, too. You know, Caleb DeBoer is like, oh, actually. Yeah. He's, he's like, he's like yeah. He, and I'm sure Caleb DeBoer was, was nervous now, too. And that it's like it's like when you like, I feel like his imposter syndrome went away. And you know what imposter, imposter syndrome does? It makes you work hard. Yeah, it makes you kind of like maybe it kind of helps sometimes. It went away, so he he just was like, man, my life is great. He was because just chilling all week. Because you are the, the season's not over. You, uh, as far as anyone's concerned, you're still an imposter, bro. <laughs> like, what do you mean? You haven't proven anything, really. <laughs> well, you won four games. Congrats. True. Yeah. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. Also, there's like, no reason to celebrate. I feel like one thing I noticed in the last game. I mean, they did when beat. Alabama was up big against Georgia. They cut to Nick Saban in like the press box, yeah, and he wasn't smiling at all. He looked like he was the wheels are turning in his head because he's probably thinking of all the things Alabama could have been doing better, mm. right? Like he didn't give a like fuck. He, he probably he probably You're saw to zero. he probably saw the stuff that Georgia saw at halftime, or he's just like this is how he is. He's just like this game's not over yet. Right? Well, yeah, he just, just like, he just realized yeah. like less than the common viewer or the commentators that like while Bama's up a lot. Georgia can easily make some adjustments they're to still like shut this shit right. down. Yeah, it's like they're still like, Nick Saban was wrong. probably thinking like, why haven't they yet? Like they could if they want. So yeah, it's crazy, man. It's I mean, it's it's pretty sick for Vanderbilt though. I mean, don't get it's me wrong. It's amazing, bro. I they think, took the field goal post and they threw him in a lake like three miles away. Because I think what happened is I think Vanderbilt got those two early scores. They basically punched Alabama in the mouth, mm -hmm. and then Alabama woke up. But what's really remarkable for me is that like. Alabama woke up and then Vanderbilt still competed with them. You know, they still, I think it was a very like Dude, honest win. It was not a There's fluke. There's no fluke. There's no weird it, play. You know how it's no not miracle. a fluke? It's, like, it's because they had the ball for 45 minutes. They just beat them. You don't have, <laughs> yeah, you don't have the ball for 40. And someone might say like, oh, well, that's a cheap strategy. You're just like milking the clock. You know how you milk the clock? You consistently get short yardage on offense. That yeah. is not easy to do. So one thing I noticed with Alabama is the D line, specifically the end. In this, the ends in this game were fucking terrible. That guy's wearing a gold chain. As number yeah. one just slips and falls and does nothing. Look at that <laughs> dive, though. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, the, dude. The D the, line was terrible. And they have a running Alabama. quarterback, terrible. which you think they would be prepared for given the fact that they can fucking play against Jalen Milrow in practice, but apparently not, I guess. Maybe they need a faster scout QB. I think Alabama's historically struggled with mobile quarterback. Even Saban did. You think the ones that beat him? Well, it's Johnny true, Manziel, but those are like Deshaun Heisman Watson. level. I'm sorry, but I, this Vanderbilt QB was sick this day, but he's not a Heisman. Hey, he, is now. Here, you know? he is now. He is now. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, look at these ends being terrible. I'm going to get you. No, nope. Look at just flying upfield, <laughs> hell undisciplined. I mean, it's not even their assignment, but still. Well, that, I mean, that quarterback probably just ran it three times in a row. They're fucking they up to, they're like, we got to get him. You know, you got to keep, con well, that's not how you get him, is flying upfield. That's not how you get him. Look at this. <laughs> 
but then also a nice job by Xavier. He took a bad angle, even if he was trying to tackle the quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. I mean, I think Bama woke up a little bit at halftime. They made it a game, but, like. No, I think they did. I honestly think that they started playing pretty well. They just ran out of time, It turns out that Vandy's just, like, not terrible. Yeah, that Vanderbilt just sick. kept kept just getting 10 yards, like, you know, 5, 10. I think it's a game. Staying on the field. What do you, I think if, if Alabama got one more series, they probably would have won. Probably, but the thing is, is that, like, Vanderbilt just kept doing the thing they did the whole game, Ooh. which is why they didn't get another series. Vanderbilt had the ball with, like, I don't know, like, four minutes left. Yeah, I remember when I was first and watching the, the game. highlights, I was like, wow, it doesn't seem like Alabama really had the ball a lot. No, bro, it was 45 see, minutes their op- to 15. Limit their opportunities to even, come, like, try to come back. Basically. That's how you yeah. win as a worst team. That's how you, if you can do that, that's how you win. But yeah, to your point, you got to get those tough yards. Yeah, because like sometimes you, you go, OK, maybe this team be this other team because they got lucky on a few like big offensive plays. But that's not what happened. They yeah. scored all their points just by like chunking it down the field. They just drove it. They just which, had sick drives. Yeah, which which shows more domination on offense than if you just hit like a 60 yeah, look at this. Wheels. God damn. Damn. God damn. Dude, that Williams guy had another amazing. That's an opening kickoff in the second half. Who was that? Oh, uh, shit. I don't know. Wait, well, who? Ryan Williams? Yeah, he had another catch Whoop. later. In the- oh, like this one? that was sick. That's him. Oh, damn. Is <laughs> that him? For it. Yeah, it's him, too. Fucking awesome, dude. I swear, he must have, like, a ballet background. He might. I feel like he might have done ballet or something before. Look at this. Look how, like, nimble he is. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, gymnastics or something. That was crazy. This was helmets on. <laughs> yeah, he's like, where am I? One, five Power, court, QB power QB left. Power. Damn, easy. Damn, that looked way too easy. I would be really concerned as a Fandy fan at this point. But it's crazy that they still win the game. Like, they're only up 23-20. They just easily, they just return to kickoff halfway down the field, let up a 20-yard QB power. All the momentum's Bama's right now. And then Vanderbilt probably got back on offense. Alabama's offensive linemen are fucking humongous. Look at 72. <laughs> Holy Dude, shit. Dude, do you think, did they dance as much when Saban was there? They danced a lot during the Georgia game, too, in the end zone. I mean, whatever. You gotta, you <laughs> gotta, saying, you gotta evolve. I mean, I love, I love fun, too. I'm just saying it's an example of the difference. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the all the difference was the days leading up to this. Yeah, for sure. It's really not. It's not about. I'm, I'm not saying dancing's making them bad at football. It's just. Dude, this my, was sick. Fourth yeah, and fucking on one. Fourth and one to, co- to fucking call that shit. That was badass, bro. That's how you do it, though. That's how you. That's how you fucking pull a huge upset. You, you gotta, gotta take t- these big swings. That's fourth the, and one. That was dude, crazy. That's the play that Nebraska didn't make to lose to Illinois. Damn. That well, at least Vanderbilt can do it <laughs> against a much better team. Damn. This quarterback looks like he's like plays for Army. That was a sick dude. That God guy, damn. number zero too. He had the burners on him to catch up to the ball. Man, I thought it, he overthrew him. It sucks that this Vanderbilt. Dang, oh, oh up. man! It sucks that this Vanderbilt coach is gonna get stolen by some random Big Ten team in like two years. I mean, the last time whatever. Vanderbilt was good was James Franklin. Hey, just make it respectable, bro. And then you can, yeah, be like James Franklin, go to fucking a Penn State and make a zillion dollars. <laughs> Boom, right there. Look at that. Oh can, my God. What the fuck, bro? God damn. Double coverage and you he just was like out of bounds for, he, this one has like the force. Like, he has I mean, <laughs> crazy like weight control. What, what the fuck is that? I don't know. You got like scimitars? I feel like, I feel like weapon celebrations oh, have gone go, up like go. a thousand percent. Look at this shit. I feel like I always see How like. How did he fucking stay in bounds? Crazy. I yeah, like, there's all there's that shotgun. So one. I feel, yeah, I see a lot of players like using guns and stuff. I'm like, all right, cool, but like also chill, bro. I think people have always done the, that. the Tommy gun ones. Cool. People have always done gun celebrations, but there just wasn't like. But sometimes you see it and they're doing it like right next to a ref, and it's like, bro, you better just chill out. You're like shooting a fake gun at the ref. I did that during a game once, and the ref was like, "Is that a real threat?" I was like, "No, what the fuck?" Yeah, what if you were like, "Yes," I was like, "Bang, bang, 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 bang." <laughs> You're like Cartman. See everyone bang, does bang, guns. bang, 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 including me. <laughs> just because I do it, that means everyone does it. <laughs> Dude, that fool, dude. What the fuck, 22? <laughs> They're only up two, man. This is like Wait, a look straight at this up shit. ball look game. Look at this end right here. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh. Dude, you're right. <laughs> do something. Fill something. Fill a hole, bro. Dude, that do shit. Yeah, like, bro, you're, you hesitating is exactly what they want you to do. <laughs> like, you gotta do something. Dude, Vanderbilt's stadium is in an active construction site, too. You see that? 
Oh, oh my shit. god, he didn't see that. And the ball came out too. I think this was a huge swing. Wait, did they get it? Yeah, because oh the right god. tackle just got fucking. I don't know what happened actually. All right, we had to reset the camera. That took about as long as each Vanderbilt drive during this game. What the fuck are we talking? What? Who is this? Vanderbilt Bam, remember? Oh, yeah. Number one loss. Well, you know who's not going to remember. <laughs> anytime soon. These people, all these players now are like immortal now. At this Dude, university. for real. This is the biggest thing that's ever going to happen. Dude, the quarterback afterwards? Ever, ever. The quarterback afterwards? <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, I, and I understand he was probably on a, hell, a ton of adrenaline, but he said in the interview post game that he had a vision. Yeah, I remember that. I saw. <laughs> he said he had a vision from God. I kind of love it. <laughs> Just fully send it, bro. Yeah. God said, on this day, you will be Alabama. <laughs> you better own this moment. Everyone's going to forget about you. Like, hey, explain, explain to the home crowd. Well, he's like the new like Jared Zabransky, but it's not that big of a deal. Who's that? He's the quarterback at Boise State when they beat Oklahoma. Oh. In 07. That was Damn, that was a crazy <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> he straight up moss his foot. Well, Damn, exactly, he held on still, to it. Yeah. Fuck. And stayed in bounds. These Bama receivers are fucking crazy good. Oh, that's why, like, I'm again, glad. you'd think their secondary would be better. I'm playing against really good dudes. There's again. Everyone said that. Casually jogging in. Everyone says that's a play call that if it works, you're a genius, but if it doesn't, you're a complete idiot. I you think anytime you give the ball to this guy, you're a genius. True. True. <laughs> says this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's like that's like another like Pop Warner play, low key. <laughs> yeah, well, he's seventeen. Okay. The reverse pitch. <laughs> yeah, he like waived his last year of high school. I, I didn't even know you could do that. So does that yeah. mean he's gonna have to play college for four years to go to the NFL? I don't think so. Well, the NFL is based on age, not how many college years you played. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I think you need three years in college. To play right, right. To but he's only. But then to be he'll eligible be, for the draft. Like you need to have been in college for three years. But it's not like you have to. You don't have to be twenty-one. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Then I guess it works different than um, NBA. NBA is you just have to be nineteen. Because NBA, you go to ditty parties after the draft. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, oh man, never mind. I have a bunch of people asking me about P Diddy. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah but all the P Diddy parties I went to. Everyone's asking me about it. I'm like, guys, chill out. Uh, oh yeah. Kind of some bull. Like, Bama is just like, bro, what are you, what are you doing? Victory formation. Just chill out. We already lost. Woo! This is crazy, man. They carried, they they ripped down the goal post and carried it. As is tradition, bro. Carried to the it to downtown. A, they carried it to a body of water and threw it in there as uh, you have to in the SEC after a giant upset win. Look at all those Bama fans there. Actually, when UC Santa Barbara won the national championship in soccer one year, they did that. Really? They what? carried the net to the ocean oh, cliffs and threw it over. That's awesome. Dude, the thing, the, the worst thing about that Cal Miami comeback is they were absolutely going to charge the field if they won. And I was going to be down there. <laughs> that was fun. Shit now. Yeah, no, they just lost. There's a lot of big losses this week, college 